Hey everyone, let's talk about the chain rule. So the chain rule is something that a lot of people tend to forget in calculus, and it's something we need to use whenever we're taking the derivative of something that has another function inside of it. So some common examples are e to the x, or sines, or natural logs, and stuff like that. But you could have something like x to the x squared, so then this function x squared is inside x, because it's raised to the power x squared. So let's consider the exponential function first, since we know the derivative of the exponential is always itself. So the derivative of e to the box equals e to the box, but the chain rule says to multiply that by the derivative of what's inside the box as well. So for sine, the derivative of sine box equals cosine box, because the derivative of sine is cosine, times the derivative of the box. So that's the chain rule. We're just going to take the derivative of our function, as we usually do, and then multiply it by the derivative of whatever function is inside of it. So let's consider this example right here. We need to take the derivative of e to the x squared. So we know the derivative of the exponential function is always itself, so we're going to get e to the x squared. And then we have to multiply that by the derivative of whatever's inside the box. So in this case, that's going to be 2x. So that's how we take this derivative using the chain rule. OK, now let's look at example two. So we have to take the derivative of sine of x cubed. So we know the derivative of sine is cosine, so we're going to get cosine x cubed. And then we have to take the derivative of what's inside as well. So that's going to be times 3x squared. And that's it for that one. We only take the derivative of the inside once. So now let's look at example three. So we have to take the derivative of one half times the natural log of x to the fourth. So we know we can always pull out constants for derivatives. So we can rewrite this as one half times the derivative of the natural log of x to the fourth. So now we can take the derivative of this. So the derivative of the natural log is 1 over whatever's on the inside. So in this case, it's x to the fourth. So this equals 1 half times 1 over x to the fourth. And now we have to take the derivative of what's on the inside, which is x to the fourth. So we're going to get times 4x cubed. And we can simplify this and rewrite this as 4 halves times x cubed over x to the fourth, which we can simplify again and write as 2 over x. And that's how we use the chain rule. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends.